All right, so this tutorial is all about the importance of line width when working in digital art. So what I've got here is a file with a very traditional tattoo style rose. Now, this is available as a download. The link is down below the YouTube video. So once you've got this open, you'll see here that I've got the same sort of line width here that I actually have on the inside, but it's a very basic type of line. So one of the very first things you can do to add interest to a piece of digital art is increase the line width. Now to do this, we go here and we're going to click on all of the outside pieces. Now remember line width is about what's telling you this is important in the design. So I'm going to raise this up to almost an obscene level. Okay, that's pretty extreme. But notice how now the outside of the rose is far more prominent than the inside of the rose. The use of line width tells you exactly what to look for. Notice in the finished piece of art, the banner and the rose are the primaries where all of this is secondary. So line width is extremely important. So step one, line your piece using your one point font or your two point font and then augment it with line width being one of these primary tools. Now this is extremely important and I'm using Affinity Designer, but this is prominent in all software programs. You want to make sure you click on scale with object because if not, as you shrink this down for later work, you're going to have a problem. Now you'll notice how this is very, very basic. So what you want to do here is you want to go to the pressure settings. Now I am using a mouse. I am not using a Wacom tablet or a Huyin tablet. What you've got here is various profiles. Now let's say here we want to click here. This line begins to adjust. Now you'll see here how both of these have a little white and a little brown box in them. This means they're going to move together. Now what I've got here now I need to click on my pressure and I need to get that box off. Now see how this brown one went just plain? Now I can move this handle independently. So when I put down a stroke now in my pen tool, let's go ahead and put down a stroke. Notice how the stroke starts off thick and then goes thin. Thick to thin. It's following my pressure curve. Now, I'm going to drop this down to nothing, and that doesn't make any sense. But then I'm going to raise this one up. Now, how did I do that? I just clicked on it, created another node, and now I've got this curve. Now, what do you think would happen? Thin, thick, thin. Let's try it. Thin, thick, thin. Thin, thick, thin thin. So what you're going to want to do if you like this, you go down here in your software and somewhere there's an option to save the profile. In Affinity Designer it's right here. I click on Save Profile. There it is. You'll see that I have one very similarly done. Now how does this work? Once you've lined it, so let's click our lines again. We've adjusted the weight. Notice I'm only clicking on the lines. Just one up here. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose a profile. Now when I apply this profile, instant artistic change right off the bat. I'm going to delete these because they make it look weird. Okay, notice how this is a lot different and a lot more interesting. Now let's say I want to change the profile. Let's say yeah, I like that, but Okay, when I do this now, let's choose another one. This one may not make as much sense because the profile starts out thin and goes thick. If you like that, we can use that. If you want no profile, you can go back to basics. I'm going to go back to this one because I like the artistic look of this. Now how does this look when we apply the coloring? That looks very, very good. It adds a very nice artistic touch to the outside of the rose. 
That really, folks, is the power of line width on your design. You use the line width to draw your eye toward the elements of your composition that you want to be stand out. And then the line type. By creating different profiles, and let's say we want to remove this profile now because we don't want it anymore, you just delete it. By creating different line profiles, you change the artistic stroke and the type, style, and weight of the stroke will be partially how your visual media communicates with the world. Anyway, if you've liked this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if there's anything else I can do for you, if you have questions or you get stuck. And also, comment down below if there's some tutorial that I can make for you. Maybe you're struggling with an individual project and you need a little bit of help. I'm always looking for new tutorials that actually add value. So on behalf of 7th Season Studios, thanks for watching.